We're glad you're back for another exciting episode of the Fighter Jet on Jetline Marvel. In this video, we'll talk about the latest Korean-built fighter, the KF-21. The Korean aerospace industries built the air superiority fighter KF-21 Bormi with Indonesia's association. Its airframe is more stealthy than any fourth-generation fighter, but unlike fifth-generation fighters, it does not carry weapons through an internal bay. It made its first flight from the production facility on July 19, 2022. The Korean name Bormi translates to Young Hawk in English. At least 40 aircraft are expected to be delivered by 2028, according to the report. But it will also be offered on the international market. To replace the outdated F-4 and F-5 fighter fleet, an alternative fighter is being developed for the Republic of Korea's Air Force. It is a multi-role fighter jet of the 4.5 generation. Initially South Korea sought to develop a fighter aircraft that could outperform the Typhoon and Assault Rafale. Technically speaking, though, it necessitated extensive study and creation. They nevertheless made an effort to design a plane that would compete with the F-16 Fighting Falcon in terms of combat range, a 34% longer airframe, and better weaponry. Most nations cooperate in the program to lessen the burden of the financial aspects because it takes proper investments to develop any technology. In KFX, Indonesia joined the regional program in 2010 as per a committee agreement for 20% ownership. Later, however, Kai claimed that it had not made the agreed-upon payments. Later, an agreement was reached between Indonesia and South Korea to create a new cost-sharing plan by 2022. The KF-21 program is supported by American Titan Lockheed Martin, which is supplying the program with a number of design consultancy components. The staggering list of imported systems, along with numerous industrial-grade tools and consultancy to rely on for technical developments, includes everything from brake pads to flight control systems, LRUs, landing gear, avionics, canopies, oxygen generators, radar, engines, ejection seats, and even the aircraft software management system. As part of a purchase agreement, Lockheed Martin consented to transfer two dozen F-35A technologies. Four crucial technologies, ESA radar, infrared search and track, electro-optical targeting pod, and radio frequency identification, were, however, prohibited from export by the U.S. government. According to Kai, most of the systems may have been locally indigenous by the time the KF-21 Block III, which is expected to be a true stealth fighter variant by 2035, is released. However, until that time, the KF-21 is just a 4.5-generation fighter jet with elements of the 5th-generation fighter, which is still being developed. Though the program is heavily supported by American defense industrial partners, which would still be under U.S. control, must still be acknowledged. It will also take until 2035 before Kai has its own domestically developed technology. Indonesia is said to be asked to reduce its share in the joint investment and development of the KF-21 by 5% and for more technology transfers than stipulated in the original agreement. The development of the KF-21 has been called the most expensive military project in Korean history, with a price tag of approximately 8.5 trillion won, $7.8 billion, for development alone. According to the government, 719 Korean businesses have participated in the development of the KF-21. About 65% of over 30,000 parts used in the prototype aircraft were made in Korea. KF-21 come with single and double seat variant. It is 15 feet 5 inches tall, 55 feet 5 inches long, and has a wingspan of 36 feet 9 inches. It weighs 18,800 kilograms when empty and can carry a maximum weight of 25,400 kilograms. It had a 2GE414 engine that can produce 57.8 kilonewtons and 97.9 kilonewtons with afterburner. It has a range of 2,900 kilometers and a top speed of Mach 1.81.
Speaking of the KF-21's arsenal of weapons, it has 10 hard points, which is equipped with air-to-air -air missiles such as the MBDA, AIM-120, D-Lyris, and AIM-9X. It features anti-ship missiles like AGM-84 Harpoon and air-to-ground missiles like Taurus and AGM-65. It is capable of transporting conventional and precision-guided bombs like JDAM, GBU, and KGGB. The KF-21 fighter jet is equipped with a variety of avionics, including ESA radar, an infrared search and track system, an electro-optical targeting pod, data link capabilities, a radio frequency jammer, and many other features. The national interest estimates the cost of the KF-21 at $65 million per unit. Please share your thoughts on the Korean-built KF-21 fighter plane in the comments area.